Welcome to core class. Oh, today we're not going to use any uh, equipment, so we don't need a block, we don't need weights, band, we don't need the ball. Um, it's just going to be us in the mat. We're going to stay on the mat too, so if you ever just want to ignore me, you can just take a nap. Always an option. We're going to start laying down though. So, moving the battery pack here. That's going to be an interesting one today. Moving the battery pack a lot. Feet on the mat. Just laying down, sway those knees side to side. Oh, just a little stretch here. Maybe today should be the day where we just take a nap. Everyone comes in expecting a workout video and it's like, Josh was just sleeping for a half hour. That was class. There's a crack. Let's bring those knees over to the right, keeping those shoulders on the ground. Today won't be too bad of a workout, actually. It'll be nice and relaxing. Over to the left with those knees. If you uh, came to class, I don't even know what date it was. If you came to class, it's going to be a similar style. We're going to end with a little faster transitions uh, that I think we're going to do really well with. We're going to do great. Back to center, bottoms of the feet together, knees are wide, opening up the hips a little bit. Oh, it's going to be a fun one, going to be a fun one. Bring in those feet back onto the mat. Let's bring that left leg long, so the left heel's on the ground, bending that right leg, grabbing onto the right shin, pulling that knee to chest. I was uh, thinking with some of these workout videos, we should uh, have guests on the videos. And so I had thoughts of like our mayor, maybe the mayor's assistant, city administrator, fire chief, switching legs here. The right leg goes long, grabbing onto that left shin, pulling that left knee to chest. So maybe if you want to see the mayor do a workout video, I would recommend uh, writing to your alder. Let them know your concerns, you know, about, you know, let's get the mayor on here, let's get somebody. Just to see if they can do the core class also. Coming out of this, both feet on the mat, bring those heels nice and close to your body, tucking those shoulders into the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drive through the heels, lift the hips up into the first bridge hold of today. Oh, I think the last video we did for core, we did a fun bridge sequence. We might do another one of those today also. We'll see how it goes. But the finisher is going to be quite challenging, so we'll see how that goes. Bring the hips back down, press the lower back, the hips into the mat. Keep the legs bent, lift the legs up into the first leg hold of the day. So, legs are bent, knees over hips, back is flat, hold it here. Just hold it. Waking up those muscles, getting used to this position, keeping the shoulders on the ground. Let's bring those legs slightly to the right. As you bring those legs to the right and hold it, your hip might come off the ground, that's okay. And if your hip stays on the ground, that's okay. Legs back to center, legs slightly to the left. Keep the shoulders on the ground. Coming back to center here, keeping those legs bent, alternating heel taps, right heel taps the ground. Bring that right leg back up, left heel taps the ground. Bring that left leg back up. I usually do this class without shoes on, and boy, do shoes really add weight. Oh my gosh, can feel it already, Scott. Keep going, keep breathing. Three, two, Back to a leg hold, 
plant those feet down into a bridge hold. Getting those hips nice and high. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. We're going to do some of Mel's favorite exercises. So hopefully Mel's here today. Keep holding. Coming back down here. Sway the knee side to side. Depending on when you're watching this, I might be in New York or Utah or driving there. Who knows? Bring those knees back to center here. Pressing the lower back into the mat, lifting those legs up again. Leg hold position. Legs go long, heels close to the ground. Keeping those legs straight or a slight bend in the legs. Bring those feet up as high as you can. Feet over the hips. Again, straight or slightly bent. Lower the legs a little bit and hold. Lower and hold. Lower and hold. Lower and hold. Let's go a little higher. Hold it. Higher. Hold it. Higher. Hold it. As low as you can go. Hold it here. Heels close to the ground. We're just going to do this for the rest of class. We're just going to hold it down here. Keep those heels close to the ground. Keep breathing. Three, two, and coming down. Whew. All right, you're warmed up, ready to go for today. Bring those feet back onto the mat. All right, driving through those heels. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Drive through the heels, bridge hold again. Lifting that left leg off the ground, single leg bridge. Switching legs. Right leg up and hold. Switch again. Keep holding. Switch again. Keep those hips nice and high. Switch again. Left leg up. And again. Three, two, plant both feet on the ground. Keep those hips up and side tap here. Right foot taps the right side of the mat, left foot taps the left side. Keep those hips nice and high. Breaks if you want. Take a nap during this if you really want to. Side tap, side tap. Three, Two, back to center, drop the hips down, sway side to side. Whew, doing good so far. We're gonna do a little stretch after that because we have a, some of Mel's favorites. Right foot coming on to the left knee, giving that right leg a hug across the body. That right knee a hug across the body, stretching out the hips a little bit. Holding it, then gently pushing that leg away from you, opening up that hip flexor just a little bit. Switching feet here, right foot on the ground, left foot on the right knee. Give that left knee a hug across the body. Really nice stretch. Hug across the body. Push that left leg away from you, opening up that hip. Three, two, Placing that left foot back down. 
Pressing that lower back, those hips into the mat. Lift the legs up again into that leg hold position. Knees over the hips. The legs go long. Bring those legs up as high as you can. Feet over hips. Again, legs straight or slightly bent. Lower the right leg down. Right heel taps the ground. Bring that right leg up. Left leg comes down. Left heel taps the ground. Left leg back up. Alternate left and right. Left and right. Keep going. Going at our own pace here. Nice and slow if you need to. Taking breaks, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Three, two, and plant those feet down back to a bridge. Drive through those heels, hips up. Squeeze those shoulders, shoulder blades together. Slowly come back down here. Press the lower back, hips into the mat. Lift the legs up again, leg hold position. Both legs going long and flutter kicks. And flutter kicks. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Keep kicking. Hold it. And kick again. Keep kicking. This is enjoyable. Hold it. Kick. Keep kicking. Keep those flutter kicks moving. Three, two, and relax. Whew. Right heel on the ground. Bend that left leg. Taking our right hand onto the left leg, pulling that left leg over across our body, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Oh, nice stretch here. Nice stretch. We're gonna do some planks today, some tabletop exercises. All of our favorites. Bring that left leg back. Left heel on the ground, bending that right leg, pulling that right leg over with your left hand to the left side of your body, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Holding it here. Back to center. Another little bridge sequence here. So feet on the mat, heels close to your body. Driving through those heels, lift the hips up again. Bridge hold position. From here, left leg's gonna go long, left heel taps the ground. Bring that left foot back to that bridge position. Right leg goes long, right heel taps the ground back to that bridge position. So you're straightening out a leg, that heel taps the ground, all while keeping those hips as high as you can get them. With having a leg straight, your hips are gonna dip down a little bit. That's perfectly normal, that's expected. So leg goes long and tap, long and tap. Keep moving here. Keep those hips up, three, two, and back to that bridge hold here. Slowly bring the hips back down, pressing the lower back into the mat, lift the legs up again, leg hold position, hands over shoulders. Palms can face your legs, palms can face each other, whatever you prefer. Bring those hands overhead. Hands are just hovering over the ground. Bring those hands over shoulders as we do that. Legs go long. Back to a leg hold. Hands overhead. 
hands over shoulders, legs go long. Leg hold again, hands overhead. Hands over shoulders, legs go long. Hold it here. Three, two, relax. Whew, we are doing good today so far. Bring in those feet on the mat and bring them wide. So right foot to the right side of the mat, left foot to the left side. Drop those knees over to the right, just like we did earlier today, but with a wide stance in the feet. Nice stretch here. Bring those knees back to center, over to the left. Keep holding. Back to center. All right. Some of Mel's favorites. Hopefully Mel's here. Pressing that lower back into the mat. Lift the legs up again. Strain out those legs, heels close to the ground, feet start together. Bring those feet wide, up, together, wide, down, together. Wide, up, together, wide, down, together. Wide, up, together, wide, down, together. Keep going here, wide, down, together, wide, up, together. Three, two, come on down here. Whew. Little active stretch here. Heels are gonna be on the ground to start. Lifting that right leg up, driving that right knee to chest, then left knee to chest. Heels tap the ground here. Little active stretch. Three, two, and relax. Feet are gonna go back onto the mat. One more bridge sequence here. So, driving through our heels, lift the hips up again into that bridge hold. From here, we're gonna do some bridge marches. So lifting the left leg up, left foot taps the ground, right leg up, right foot taps. Just like you're marching in place while keeping those hips nice and high. Keep marching. Seemed like a motorcycle came past. And hold it, keep those hips up. Now for this one, we're gonna come up on the toes and down, up and down. Keep those hips nice and high as we do this. Bridge hold with the calf raise, up and down. Three, two, hold it. Keep those hips up. Single leg, just like we did earlier. Left leg up and hold. Keep those hips nice and high. Right leg up and hold. Keep breathing. Left leg again. Bring that leg up as high as you want. Keep the hips off the ground. Switch again. Right leg. Keep holding. And again, left leg up and hold. One more time with the right leg. Three, two, coming down here. All right, next one, we're gonna roll over onto our bellies in the child's pose here. So, taking your time, little break here. So getting there however you want to, taking your time for child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide, dropping those hips back towards your heels, arms go out long, ears between the shoulders. Hopefully the mic still sounds great. 
I'm sure Scott would tell me otherwise if it doesn't sound great. So the little sequence we have here is stuff we've done before, um, but we're going to go a little faster tempo at the very end of it. Coming into tabletop here, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Right leg is going to go long, driving that right heel up as high as you can and hold. Keep holding. Switching legs here. Left leg goes long, drive that left heel up as high as you can. Hold it. Switching again, right leg. Keep that right leg off the ground. Bend the right leg, bring that right knee to right elbow. They don't physically have to touch, but in that general area. Right leg goes long, right knee on the ground. Left leg goes long, hold it. Left knee, left elbow. Left leg goes long, left knee on the ground. Back to child's pose here, hips back, ears between the shoulders, arms reaching out in front. Oh, we're gonna make that a little bit harder now, cause why not? Why not? Scott's behind the camera doing the recording. He's gonna think, oh my gosh, all these people do this in class. We sure do. Back in the tabletop here. Hands under, shoulders, knees under the hips. Right leg goes long. Left arm reaching out in front for a handshake. Keep that belly button pointing at the ground. Keep breathing. Keep holding. Three, two, switching here. Left leg goes long, right arm reaching out. Belly button is still pointing at the ground. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Three, two, Coming down here, all right. On your knees or on your toes, I'll do on the toes. We're gonna go into a plank. You can go on your elbows too if you'd like. Uh, totally up to you if you wanna do hands or elbows. I'm gonna do hands, keeping the hands or elbows under the shoulders though. Curling the toes up into a plank, straight line from your head to your toes, or if you're modifying head to your knees, and hold it. If you want to try one arm planks, try one arm plank. I'm not doing that today. I'll save that for another day. Another recording. Three, two, back in the tabletop, child's pose again, knees wide. Drop those hips back, arms reaching out long. Hold it here. Hmm. Coming back in the tabletop here. All right, for this next one, I believe we've done this one before. Right leg's gonna go long. Left arm reaching out in front. Bring that right knee to right elbow. Keep that arm reaching out. Extend that right leg, bring that hand and knee down. Left leg goes long, right arm reaching out. Bend that left 
leg, left knee to left elbow. Hold it here. Extend that left leg, hand and knee on the ground. Curling the toes or on the knees up into a plank again. And hold it here. Keep breathing. Oh, and this is the tough part of the workout. Keep holding. Short time. Three, two, bring the knees down, child's pose again. Arms reaching out, ears between the shoulders. Oh, so coming up here, we're gonna do faster uh, transitions. So, taking breaks is important. We're gonna go a little faster, but don't feel like you have to. If you don't want to, totally up to you. After this video, you're gonna be like, I can't believe we did all that. But we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be fun. Back in the tabletop here, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Right leg goes long, left arm reaches out. Switching here, left leg, right arm. into a plank on the toes or on the knees hold that plank keep holding it keep breathing three two tabletop again right arm le right leg left arm gosh Josh Right leg, left arm. Hold it here. Keep holding. Switching here, left leg, right arm. Reach it, hold it. Back to plank on the knees or on the toes or on your elbows hands elbows under shoulders keep breathing keep holding you're doing great three two tabletop last time here right leg left arm Hold it. Taking breaks when we need to. Keep holding. Switching. Left leg, right arm. Hold it and breathe. We have a plank after this and we're done. Three, two, coming down plank on the knees or on the toes, up and hold. Keep holding, keep breathing. You're doing great. We get blast after this. Unless blast is closed, if it's in the winter months we're watching this video, then that's very sad. Three, two, and coming down, tabletop, child's pose here, knees wide. Drop those hips back. You can do some wrist circles if you want, if the wrists are bothering you. You can use your hand to help with the wrist circles to get some of that tension out. Or you can just hold child's pose. Keep breathing though. Great job today, not bad. 
Not bad for a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Incredible for Thursday afternoons, like we're doing today. <laughs> Back in the tabletop, and then slowly sitting on to our mats, taking our time, taking our time, sitting on to our mats. Left leg in, right leg out. Reach for those right toes. And during the recordings on a Thursday, it does feel weird doing core class on a Thursday. Switching legs here, left leg out, right, right leg in, left leg out. Reach for those left toes. Nice stretch. Coming out of this, crossing the feet if you want. Let's go left ear, left shoulder. Stretching out that neck. Bring it to the right ear, right shoulder. Let's come back to the left. Left ear, left shoulder. One more time to the right. Three, two, coming out of this. Bring an arm across, pulling on that shoulder. Oof. Those planks, they get you. Switching arms here, other one across. Coming down here, doing some wrist circles, palms facing each other. We did a lot of wrists today too for core, withholding tabletops, plank, switching directions. I'm making sure the wrists are nice and loose. Three, two, coming out of this, both legs long. One more stretch here, lean forward. You can reach for the toes if you want, or just a gentle lean forward. Three, two, coming out of this and finishing with a hug. Good job today. Not bad, not bad. I'll be back at some point um, and I'll let you know how my vacation or work was. So yeah, hopefully you see, we'll see you in class, but hopefully you like the video. We'll try and get a guest here at some point. Yeah, all right, bye.